Our call to worship this morning is so appropriate for this, the second Sunday in Lent. You may not remember, but uh, Advent and Lent are different in a very particular way about how we speak about the Sundays that occur during those time periods. When we are in Advent, the season leading up to Christmas, we say the first Sunday of Advent. When we are in Lent, we say the first Sunday in Lent. And that is for a very particular reason, because the season of Advent is a preparation time, and the Sundays in Advent are, are totally part of that season of preparation to receive Christ as an infant, but also to anticipate his coming again. Whereas the season of Lent is a different kind of preparation. We are preparing ourselves to remember uh, why Jesus came and died for us, which is because of our sin and because of our brokenness and because of our broken relationship with God and with each other and with his creation. But each Sunday in Lent is is considered in the Christian tradition to be a kind of mini Easter, where we take a Sunday, a day each week in Lent to step out of the, the grief and the sorrow and the, the recognition of our sin and remember Jesus' triumph in rising from the dead and conquering sin and death for us. And so we say it is, a, uh, it is a Sunday in Lent, but it is not of Lent, right? It is, it is located during the time of Lent, but it is not the same kind of preparatory time. It is a stepping aside and celebrating the victory. So each Sunday is a mini Easter, and this passage here is, even though it was written by David uh, long, long before Christ, it is a celebration of God's goodness and mercy in Jesus Christ. David says, I will exalt you, Lord, for you lifted me out of the depths and did not let my enemies gloat over me. When I felt secure, I said, I will never be shaken. Lord, when you favored me, you made my royal mountains stand firm. But when you hid your face, I was dismayed. To you, Lord, I called. To the Lord, I cried for mercy. What is gained if I am silenced? If I go down to the pit, will the dust praise you? Will it proclaim your faithfulness? Hear, Lord and be merciful to me. Lord, be my help. You turned my wailing into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy that my heart may sing your praises and not be silent. Lord my God, I will praise you forever. Let us praise the Lord our God who has removed our sackcloth and clothed us with joy that our hearts may sing and not be silent. Let us 